Okay. Good morning again. <clears throat> Ever since he was a child, Paul always had a fear of someone being under his bed at night. So he went to a shrink and told him, I've got problems. Every time I go to bed, I think there's somebody under it. I'm scared. I think I'm going crazy. Just put yourself in my hands for one year, said the shrink. <clears throat> Come and talk to me three times a week, and we should be able to get rid of those fears. Well, how much do you charge? $80 per visit, replied the doctor. Paul said, well, let me think about it. Six months later, the doctor met Paul on the street. Why didn't you come to see me about those fears you were having, he asked. <clears throat> well, 80 bucks a visit three times a year, three times a week for a year is $12,480. A bartender cured me for $10. I was so happy I saved all that money, I went and bought myself a new pickup truck. Is that so, with a bit of an attitude, the doctor said. How, may I ask, did the bartender cure you? Well, he told me to cut the legs off my bed. Ain't nobody under there now. <laughs> okay. So I brought the wristbands up, the wristband up with me. I don't know, uh, can we zoom in a little bit with that camera or are we not able to? Can we zoom in a bit or no? Okay. <clears throat> so anyway, this is the wristband. <clears throat> okay, there we go. All right. So this is the wristband and it, it has this little piece right here. And this is what you're going to need for your meal ticket. It does rip off, so you can turn it in for a meal ticket. But this piece right here is what you're going to have. I don't know how, if you all can see that. Can you see that little piece there? Okay, so that's what you're going to use to give off for your meal ticket. The wristband, of course, you're going to put it on, and you're going to wear it. <clears throat> and you need to be wearing your wristbands. Uh, we have them, they're color coordinated, and, um, and they are color coordinated for, not only for the meals, like beef or chicken, but they're also coordinated for the meal times. And this is because, simply because, people come at two who aren't eating till four, and people stay at four who already ate at two. Now, we don't mind people staying. That's n we don't care about that. What we care about is that if you've already eaten at 2 o'clock, we would like you to move so the 4 o'clock people can have a place to sit. And, and the other way around, if you're not eating till 4, let the 2 o'clock people that are eating come in and sit. <coughs> Once everybody is served for their food, if there are tables, you can sit wherever. But just be considerate of people who are coming in to eat. And uh, so, like I said, this is what it looks like. This is your meal ticket and the wristband you need to be wearing. Okay. All right. The Ohio Party. Tickets will be sold after coffee today for the Ohio Party which is going to be on March 5th. Tickets will be sold February 18th and 25th also, before and after coffee. Tickets will not be sold after February 25th. The Illinois Day Get-Together and Lunch is on March 3rd, 2019 in the Activity Center. The time is 12 noon until 3.30. Plates, fork, etc., are provided uh, tablecloths and unsweet tea. Just bring a dish to share. Bring a white elephant gift to exchange. 
And she would also like to ask if anyone has any new trivia from the state of Illinois that if everyone could bring something to discuss. Please sign up in the state book on the credenza. More information, you can call Jean or Sylvia Salmon at 863-202-0493. And Sylvia will be available for volunteers and to meet new Illinois residents before and after coffee on Monday. Okay, we are accepting nominations for the Tree of Honor, and I was told last week that if you have nominated someone in the past and they did not receive an honor, that you need to renominate them. They start fresh every year with the nominations for that year. So if you had somebody in the past that you nominated that didn't get awarded, if you would like to renominate them, you can. Okay, this week activities, and I apologize you all, I don't know if you can tell or not, but um, I'm a little stuffy and I've got some throat stuff going on. I went to the doctor yesterday, and I'm on. Uh, he put me on some antibiotic and some steroids, so I'm like burning up. So, and I've got a busy day, so I hope you can be patient and bear with me. All right, today, TMAC elections. At, they begin at 10 o'clock, so my, my office window will not be open all day because of TMAC elections. And then there are no activities that will be running until bingo this evening. Bingo tonight. God's got mail. <laughs> that was probably my incoming prayer that I'm not, don't fall out standing up here. All right. <laughs> Be here and ready to play for bingo tonight by 6.15. You must have your ID badge to play. Okay, uh, Tuesday. And I just want to say, Shirley, those are fabulous signs that you have up for the food drive. Yes, I think those are very nice. It gives a nice reminder. So there is a food drive this Tuesday, an RV meeting in the community room at 2, potluck at 5.30, and... Your wristbands from 1 to 4.30. Okay. On Wednesday, there is going to be a paparazzi sale in here from 2 to 6. And wristband distribution from 1 to 4.30. Okay. Don't forget on Thursday to stop by and pick up a Valentine carnation and a little animal treat because we are doing little doggy bags and we are doing little kitty bags because it was brought to our attention to don't forget the kitties and we don't want to do that because we love cats too. I have three. <clears throat> I think that's beyond my limit but don't tell anybody. Um, and um, so we will have a limited supply of flowers and animal treats given at the business office. Then on Thursday, again, we will be doing wristbands from 9 to noon. All right. On Friday, the only thing I'm going to talk about is wristbands. And on Friday, the time is 9 to noon. All right. On Saturday, we have the country breakfast. And then also on Saturday, we have the variety show at 7. On Sunday, Ben and Anastasia will be here. We will be serving light refreshments, and um, although admission is free to come in and see them, they will be accepting a love offering during intermission. Next Monday, the offices are closed. I know that Tammy announced that already, but I'd just like to announce that again. 
uh, ladies' luncheon is January. I don't even know what month I'm in because it's not in January. <laughs> but let me see if the date right. The 21st? January, I mean, February 21st. Okay, so at least I had the 21st right, y'all. All right, and it's at the Hotel Jacaranda, which is the right place, too. And um, the cost is $14.50, and you need to sign up and pay in advance at the activities office in cash only. All right, with that, I am going to... Oh, Jan's got something I need to announce. Oh, well, that would be that would be good for me to announce, right? Yeah. So when you come to pick up your wristbands, <laughs> you must bring your ID badge. That is how we know that you are a resident here in Tanglewood. We must see your ID badge. If you are picking up. Uh, wristbands for somebody else outside of your household. Now, if you come and you're picking up for you and your husband, just bring both of your badges. If you're picking up for out, someone outside of your household, you will need a letter and their badges that they've given you permission to pick them up and their badges. All that was in the newsletter the past couple months, so I'm hoping that somebody read that and knows that already. But, um, you know, just in case. All right, again, uh, TMAC elections begin at 10 o'clock this morning, so I will not be available. And uh, this is going to be a very limited week for me to be available. Uh, it's always better to call and check and see if I'm in my office, but I will be more out than in this week. So um, I just want everybody to know that there's a lot going on. But with that, I hope everyone has an absolutely wonderful, wonderful, wonderful week. Thank you much. Miss Billy, what time is the Anastasia concert? Oh, I'm sorry. It's at 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock. Yeah, about 2 to 4. About 2 to 4. Okay. And you all know the day. Hi. Um, Billy already mentioned the food drive, which is tomorrow. And we did get some pretty little signs made up. And if that works, I'll get some more made up. There, we're asking you, as always, to have your bag of non-perishables out at the foot of your driveway by 8.30 to pick up. Our volunteers will be coming around before 9.30 to get them. Uh, it, the people in the outback, it might be a little bit later than that because the outback is a big place. Don't put your food donation next to your garbage bag because it just gets all confused then. And last week, the uh, Diversions Committee ran the spelling bee. We we're proud to announce Jackie Shrake is our champion. Yay, Jackie. Uh, she won a couple of years ago. Darn if she didn't come back again. Okay, thank you. Good morning. Arnie Nichols for the Tanglewood Blood Drive. Um, this coming uh, 27th, which will be on a Wednesday, um, is our next blood drive. Um, we're still looking for more people to sign up for to give blood. Um, don't have too many signed up, and the blood drive is from 9 to um, 3. So if you're available, um, the white book on the condensa is there for you to sign up and put your time down that you want to um, come and make sure you bring your ID because that's what they need. So Marianne thank you Jones very much. Jones for the Variety Show. Our 19th annual Tanglewood Residents Variety Show will be held on Saturday, February 16th at 7 p.m. in the clubhouse. We, ha we have 12 great acts of music and comedy which will be performed by your talented friends and neighbors here in Tanglewood. Uh, the kitchen will be open. We will, the genealogy club will be selling uh, waters and snacks before the show and during intermission. And the admission to the show is free, as always. Donations will be accepted for the Peace River Shelter, Sebring, and we will have a 50-50 drawing. Thank you. Sue Malangelski for the Wisconsin Party. Um, tickets will be sold before and after, um, right over there at the Wisconsin table. 
It's March 12th on a Tuesday, uh, 4.30 to 7.30. We do have a band. And of course, who would want to miss the wonderful Wisconsin fish fry with all the trimmings? So, hope you Good can morning, come Tango. With Bob LaRock with the Diversions Committee. I want to talk about the blind draw. Blind draw, Thursday, February 21, 6 p.m. right here in the clubhouse. Now, this is a totally random card draw game. It's easy to learn, and step-by-step step -step instructions will be given before and during play, so nobody's going to get lost. Are you feeling lucky? Because that's all you're going to need, well, besides a dollar to play, and maybe you will be one of the ten lucky winners. Now, the top prize is a very nice wine country gift basket filled with all sorts of goodies, donated by our hometown America management, Thank you to Tammy, Billy, and the hometown staff for that donation. Other prizes which are sponsored by the Diversions Committee include scratch tickets, gift cards to Subway, Walmart, Bed Bath & Beyond. What about restaurants? I like eating. Yes, we have restaurant gift cards too. And thank you for asking. Okay, we have Ruby Tuesday, Olive Garden, The Watering Hole, Cody's. Now, who doesn't like eating? Don't miss out on this fun event. No, this is not a gambling game, okay? And it's not a poker game. It's just drawing cards. Players, please sign the blind draw sheet on the credenza. We need to know how many will be attending for the ice cream that Diversions always likes handing out. Also, we need just five more table bosses to briefly work the tables, okay? After you do that little job, you go back and join your friends, okay? Blind draw, Thursday, February 21, here in the clubhouse, 6 p.m. See you there. Hi, Sandy Radowick from the Library Committee. The Library Committee invites you to step into the library and take a look at the new changes that are underway. And while you're there, pick up a book. We're running the uh, blind date this month so pick up a book take it home um, and give us your comment whether you had a good date a bad date or a dud date and look looking forward to sharing this month with you with the blind date thank you good morning Donna scores now with the HOA if you have not no let me regress and try this again this morning if you have had any contact changes phone numbers, email addresses, etc. And you have not turned those changes into the HOA for the printing of our new directory, please see me after today's coffee. We are getting close to printing and we want to make sure that all of your contact information is correct. This month is the return of Daryl Patrick and his jazz ensemble. Mark your calendar for February 23rd. This is a Saturday evening and not the usual Friday evening. Daryl is going to jazz it up this time, and there's no pun here. He is bringing in Doug Andrews on the piano and Tom DeGrazio on drums, along with Matt Coltrap on bass, on bass rather, with Bob Leonardo doing, of course, the vocals. Doug is a prominent local musician and a music teacher at SFU. He is very talented and active on the local music scene. You will really enjoy him. Tom DeGrazia, well, I'm sure you all know Tom from our own community here and his work with the Skylark Big Band. And just a note on Matt, for those of you that come to our jazz series, he's our bass player. Many of you will recognize him as one of our very original players and members. He plays a mean bass, and he is a young lion on the local jazz scene. Join us Saturday, February 23rd, where I always tell you uh, we turn the Tanglewood Clubhouse into the Tanglewood Cabaret Lounge, where the lights are dim and the atmosphere is festive. Tickets are now on sale at Monday Coffee. You can also buy them at the door. Tickets are $5, BYOB, and of course, bring your own snacks. Something very quickly here, Broadway Lights is going to be doing something different this year. We have not done this before. We are excited to announce our St. Patrick's Day performance. Daryl Patrick will bring his Irish band, which is separate from the jazz band, 
to the clubhouse. This is actually going to occur on St. Patrick's Day, which is March 17th, which is a Sunday. The time is from 2 to 5. There will be a limited number of tickets sold for this only, and they will start going on sale next Monday at Coffee, and Billy will also have a few in her office. Appetizers will be furnished by Broadway Lights. So BYOB, but you don't need to bring anything to eat. Ticket sales will be $8. Thank you. I can't believe Bruce isn't going to lower the microphone. Okay, I want to start off with the Strawberry Festival. It is March the 7th. The last day for ticket sales is next Monday. We need 40 people to make this trip a go. So those of you who are thinking about going, you need to sign up. See Tracy in the back today or next Monday. <clears throat> um, the cruise for October is still a go for Hawaii. Talking about the bus leaving tomorrow for the Space Center, the bus arrives at 6.30. 6.30. When it is full, a.m. Oh, that's right. I, <clears throat> we've had that before. A.m. In the morning. In the morning. 6.30 in the morning. It will leave when everybody's on the bus. So we all know you show up Tanglewood time. Um, also... For the college things, you can pick up your tickets for my mother and the Eagles in the back today and next Monday. They're back there. I want us to talk a minute about the Singapore trip. Where there is a meeting scheduled to give you a lot of information on March the 20th. Mark that down for those of you who are going at 530, and it will be held at Cruise and Tours on Highway 27. Also, the ladies that are going on that trip, you might want to get a hold of me about your dress. Women don't like the last minute, but there is a clothing regulation on this trip, especially when we go to India. So contact me on that. Changing hats. Indiana Day is March the 13th at 1130 in the Activities Building. Tickets are on sale. Uh, for the next two weeks. Luann White from the Dance Committee. Thanks uh, to everyone who came to our dance the other night. Lee Elkhorn was phenomenal. If you didn't come, too bad. You'll have to wait till next year. Um, March uh, 9th is our next dance, and it is co sponsored by Alan Holmes. Um, and he is, has given us some of the money. Uh, to pay for the band, so therefore we ca we're calling it, he, he wants it called a hard times dance, meaning that, you know, apparently for him with the stock market going up and down, it can be hard times for other people, so the residents will have to pay a buck to get in with their um, name band, name tag. I got bands on the brain. Um, also, we always have a progressive raffle there, and the progressive raffle only goes to uh, Tanglewood residents. You have to be a Tanglewood resident, you have to be present, and you have to have your name tag. And I believe it's up to, gonna be up to $120 this next time. Someone from the Outback eh, didn't come the other night, and um, 813, House 813 was called. And they weren't here, so they didn't win. So, okay, the thing that I've been asked the most, we're having Toe Jam on their sunset tour for the last time on Saturday, March 23rd. The tickets go on sale Monday, March 4th, again um, in the craft room after um, uh, morning coffee. So... And believe me, you might want to be there early and bring a cup of coffee and a chair because that's kind of how people wait. Thank you. Uh, good morning. I'm Pat Parks with the Shuffleboard Committee. Uh, this week we have two tournaments. Wednesday we are going to Sebring Village uh, starting at 9 o'clock. So those participants will want to be there about 8.30 or 20 to 9, something like that. Uh, I could use a couple more people to play, so if you know anyone, 
uh, just let me know. Uh, the second tournament is on Friday. Reflections is scheduled to come here, and we'll start again at 9 o'clock. Um, Sign-up sheet for that tournament will be tomorrow at the courts or Thursday at the courts. Thank you. Good morning. Diane Lowry with Potluck Committee. We have our <clears throat> potluck dinner tomorrow night, and if you haven't signed up yet, you're still welcome to do so in the book, and you can check out what foods we still have need of. We have over 60 people coming, so there will be a lot of wonderful food, I'm sure. Uh, be sure to bring your place setting. We provide the coffee, tea, and water. And be sure to come to the meeting this, year, this afternoon, those who signed up for the potluck committee at 1.30, uh, so that we can be part of our election. Uh, my other hat is for the, the directory. Uh, we are doing pictures on the t March 12th and March 13th, taking the photos, and we still have a few slots left. Uh, we would love, this directory is for everyone in the park. We have over half of the folks in this directory, and we would be happy to have another half in the, added to the directory for the next time. It'll come out in about August of this summer. So please come and see me at Monday Coffees from 8 to 9.30. You can come back to the bingo area and sign up on the computer, or you can call us at our home, and Billy can always give you the phone number, or you can look in one of the older directories to find uh, the phone number for Diane and Howard Lowry. And we just love to have you be part of the program. Thank I you promise very much. two weeks in a row. Larry would love your wood shop fees. So anybody that hasn't taken care of that, he's back by the bingo area. Thank you. Most importantly about those fees, if you haven't paid them for this season, you can't vote. So pay them so you can vote. All right, Bruce Everly for special events. Uh, individual show tickets are still at a bargain at $15 a piece for the remaining shows each. Uh, our next show will be February the 24th, which is the Queens of Broadway. And hopefully, we're gonna be able to show you a short promo video. Because I've had lots of questions about the Queens of Broadway. It's kind of leafy. <laughs> Feathery. Feathery. Many of you have asked questions since you may have seen or heard about the Queens of Broadway other than the Queens of Broadway we're going to have. They tend to be pretty racy and, and uh, um, kind of over the top. This is not that kind of show. Uh, yes, I, I'm sorry to disappoint some of you, uh, but, but uh, in reality, uh, they're uh, a stage full of men and women some are dressed in drag, some are not. You have to figure out who is, but it's a lot of song and dance and a lot of great entertainment. And maybe we'll try this next, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll try it next week. While they're playing with that, welcome table. Do we have any new residents? We do. Hello. It's turned on. Use your mic on. It is turned on. Hello. It's on. It might be on mute. Oh. No. No, it's not on mute. Not on mute. Hello. Yeah, I hear some snoring out there. <laughs> Hello, Troy. Test. Test. Maybe we'll try this again next week. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? Maybe I should just get up and show. Just yell. <laughs> Testing, test. Okay. Here you go. 
Thank you. <laughs> um, the welcome committee continues to welcome new people. We do have some new people at the table today that will be introducing themselves. And we will also have our new resident social April 8th. So mark your calendars if you're new and have not been to one of our events. And I'll have more details as um, it get closer to the event. So with that, I'm going to turn the microphone over to our new people. Good morning, everyone. My husband and I could not have asked for a better community to be residents at. We are from Michigan. My husband is from, my, my husband is retired from uh, material, superior material, sorry, they changed names. I used to be a bridal salon owner, so I am really happy to be retired. Um, we just wanna say that we love it here. We live over on Carefree. We have the best neighbors and I have never met such amazing, amazing people in my life. So we are happy to be here to join you at Tanglewood. Good morning. I'm Edith Kellogg, but I go by Brenda and being from the South, I'm using Brenda as part of my middle name, okay? <laughs> I was born in Portsmouth, Virginia. I lived and retired from the city of Cape Coral. When I came here, I've been here since November. I really enjoy the neighborhood so far. It's quiet, it's peaceful, and I feel very secure living here. Before my Joe died back in 2010, we had come here two or three times and looked at some different places and always had Sebring in the back of my mind. So now I'm here and I'm very happy, very satisfied. I'm meeting neighbors one by one. I'm still going through some items I need to put away, some to replace, you know the drill. But so far, so good. Thank you. Thank you, that's it for the welcome table. Great, welcome. I've got some fun and interesting facts here. This first one, I know the gentlemen will really appreciate, and they probably are going to go home later today and use one of these to take a nap on, and that is Lazy Boy recliner chairs were invented on this date back in 1928. So yeah, I, that, that was surprising. In 1962, the Beatles recorded Please Please Me on Your Lazy Boy, and in 1977, those of you from Nova Scotia will uh, appreciate this. In 1977, a 44.53 pound lobster was caught, the heaviest known crustacean. That would be a meal and a half for the whole room here. Okay, well, please remember to check the bulletin board for your committee uh, election time. Vote early, vote often. See you next Monday. Be sure to wave when somebody waves to you and have a blessed day. Bye.